Hey, Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. Thank you for tuning in. All right, let's see what the messages are. First things first, we have the Four of Pentacles. This talks about stability, having everything that you need. The Three of Wands, this is the future. So that's good, because it seems like everything's been super rocky lately. So it's nice to know that we're moving towards a phase where all our needs will be met. So, oh, wonderful. We've got the Nine of Cups, happiness, wish fulfillment, being self-sufficient, Emotionally, Six of Wands. After hard work, you're able to celebrate. Six of Swords, you've been listening to the guidance and, you know, not making any rash decisions, <laughs> but just kind of seeing how everything unfolds and knowing that you have been investing so much time and energy resources into something and now you're going to see that come back to you and you'll be very happy emotionally pleased you know your cup will be filled because you didn't give up let's see anything else all right we've got the four of swords which will give you some time to rest you won't feel so burdened or like, oh my goodness, how are, how am I going to handle this? You'll see it. Just, it's like when the wind comes and blows a storm away and then the sun appears. It's like that and it's, it's gentle. And thank goodness for that because it, it's been feeling pretty intense lately. So then we have this. Oh, yeah, we're wonderful. The lovers. The three of pentacles. Finding people that understand you, that you can work with, collaborate with. Judgment. Ten of swords. Yeah, no more of this really heavy you know, betrayed energy. It's like, you know what? You finally get some relief from that with the Ace of Swords. I love that. It's like you answered the call. You put in the hard work and the divine is rewarding you for that. There's been energy that's been watching you, learning from you, seeing how you are emotionally grounded you're you're not operating in an um, in an emotional volatile way you've learned how to hold back any past emotions that might have caused problems um because you're like you know what i'm just gonna just gonna sit with it just see what happens i'm going to feel it i'm not going to act on it you're going to learn from it and that's what creates this freedom. So you're not um, overtaken by your emotions when things happen. So that is a wonderful place to be, Pisces. So really be proud of yourself for that. We have the Three of Cups. Being able to be happy, celebrate things just moving along really quickly as you think of something it manifests so definitely use this time um, during this uh, solar eclipse in Libra to to leave any type of obstacle behind really focus on what happiness means to you what stability means to you and acting in that way. All right, just 
little bit more. Yep, you're no longer stuck. You have definitely transmuted and transformed a lot of heavy energy very quickly. You have passed on loved ones, ancestors that are helping you do this because you are breaking ancestral ties. There is someone in the past that loves you very much, this King of Pentacles. And they're giving you this opportunity now to work through pain, you know, as the wounded healer. So you're moving quickly with the chariot and the fool. You've ascended to a higher level. And because of that, you will be given everything that you need to continue to do this, to show others how to do this. And it looks like you're going to meet someone at a distance that is going to help you continue on this path and give you these resources that you need, that you've known you need. Don't tell anybody about it though, keep that to yourself. And this is the part where you surrender to the universe and and you are you are given everything with the Ten of Cups and the Empress. It's, it's going to be a new experience for you because you're not going to have to effort. Things will just fall into your lap, into your email, you know, into your bank account. And you're like, okay, and, you, and that's all you do is accept it. That's what the Empress does. She accepts what comes to her because she knows that she deserves it. So things will start to move very quickly, suddenly, you know, the tower energy is no joke. It will be disorienting, but with the two of pentacles, it's balancing out energy. You're going to have everything that you need. And what that does is it heals, it heals so much pain from the past, so much fear that may have been sent to you. All of that is over now. And wow, I love this, the world and the justice card. So you are leaving an impoverished state, whether it's mentally or physically, and whatever you lost, you will be given that back, you know, tenfold. So Pisces, enjoy the week. Really use your powers of manifestation during this new moon write it down, talk it out, pray about it, dream about it, daydream about it, and watch it come in for you. You deserve it. All right, Pisces, I love you. We'll see you soon.